Hey guys, it's Coach Danny from Prime Coaching Sport and today we're going to be looking at the fundamentals of rugby. Now rugby is a sport that's played in a couple of different countries here in Australia. It's played in New Zealand, South Africa, England, France and a few other places as well. Maybe you've never played rugby before. That's what we got this lesson today. So I'm here with Coach Ed. He is in fact a professional rugby player, a physical education teacher and a coach. So Ed, what are we going to be going through today? We're going to be going through the basics of rugby. We'll start with the pop pass, look at the spin pass, we'll look at how to catch properly, and then we'll go through two different types of a kicking. Fantastic. All right, let's get straight into it. Let's do it. In rugby, you can't pass the ball forwards. So whenever you're practicing, you have to practice either sideways or slightly backwards. Now there are two main types of passing in rugby. There's the pop pass and the spin pass. Let's start with the pop pass. The way you hold the ball is with one hand on either side, a bit like you're eating a hamburger. Fingers nice and spread out, thumbs on top. You're gonna to stand side on to your target and you're gonna move the ball across your body a bit like you're digging a hole using a shovel. As we go, at the end, you're gonna pop with your wrist and your fingers towards your partner. This is the kind of pass you'd use when the player you're passing to is no more than five meters away, nice and close. So we're gonna bring it across our body and pop with our fingers to the target. Now we're gonna use a drill to try and work on our pop passing. This one's done in pairs. We're about five meters apart. And as you get better, you can step further and further away. We're gonna start with a hamburger grip. And we're gonna to step to the target as we pass the ball, making sure we're passing sideways, not forwards. Lovely passing. Now as you're catching, you're gonna to wanna to point your fingers towards the target. You're gonna reach for the ball. That way you give the thrower a target to throw out and it means that you catch the ball in your hands ready to pass on straight away so we're not not catching on our chest The next pass we're going to look at is the torpedo pass. This is the pass you use when you're trying to pass a greater distance, up to 5, 10, 15 metres. The way we pass is we want the ball to spin through the air like a torpedo. That way it doesn't get affected by the wind and just travels a bit further. The way we get the spin is by using our strong hands on the back of the ball. That's going to be our power hand for the pass. We start with the ball facing towards our target. Our other hand just guides it at the top and as we push, our power hand spins inwards and we release the ball out like that. One way to practice the spin pass on your own is by throwing the ball in the air, trying to work on getting that nice spinning shape. You want to make sure you practice with both hands as your power hand. That way you can pass in both directions. Should look a bit like this. Trying to make sure the ball spins nice and evenly. We're now gonna show you a drill to work on your spin pass, your spiral pass. Now, as always, power hand at the bottom, other hand supporting at the top. We're gonna to pass sideways to a partner. We're about seven or eight meters apart. As you get better, you can move further apart. So getting ready, stepping towards our target. And Coach Danny, as always, we're gonna be reaching for the ball. 
I want to be throwing the ball somewhere between his waist and his shoulders. So your hands want to be nice and out somewhere in this target zone. A little bit high there. Yep. Beautiful. Making sure we're not catching on our chest. Nice. Finishing with our power hands on top. Oops. <laughs> yeah. There are two types of kicking in rugby. The first kind we're going to look at is the grubber kick. This is where the ball rolls along the ground. It's best for when you want to kick through a defensive line so you or a teammate can regather the ball. You start with two hands on either side of the ball and the ball facing downwards. You stand square onto your target and when you kick, you're going to release the ball all the way down to the ground. You're not going to throw the ball in the air. We never throw it up. You can release it all the way down towards your foot. As you kick, you want to make sure you kick the ball on the top side underneath there. That way you're kicking the ball down so it can roll along the ground. That's very important. As we kick, we're going to point our toe down and kick towards the ground. Let's put those all together. Two hands on the ball, pointing down and kick towards the ground. So now we're practicing the grubber kick in pairs. You can see we're a good distance apart, so the ball's got plenty of time to bounce before we catch it. Now remembering our cues, we've got our ball pointing down, we get our foot ready, and we're gonna kick down. When we're catching, it's kind of hard to predict where the ball's gonna bounce, so you wanna get the ball behind, your body behind the ball and get ready to catch it at any height, because it might bounce up. Guiding the ball down, not throwing it in the air. Lovely. You're getting better at this. There we go. The second kind of kick you use in rugby is the punt kick. This kick goes through the air and is used for when you want to kick longer. You're going to start with the two hands on the ball again, nose pointing down again, fingers pointing down as well. You're going to take a step with your support foot and then you're going to again guide the ball down. We're not throwing the ball up. We're going to guide it down to our foot with one of your hands. And you're going to kick the ball with your laces just before the ball hits the ground. To make sure the ball goes nice and high, we're going to have a big swing through with our leg. So to put that all together, two hands on the ball, step into it, drop the ball down and do a big kick through.
Now we're practicing the punt kick in pairs. You've got two hands on the ball. We're gonna to step towards the target as we kick. And remember to keep our hand on the ball, guiding it down to our foot so we're not throwing it in the air. And what should I be doing is catching? Coach Danny, you should be moving your feet to get under the ball as quickly as possible, then using your hands to bring it into your chest. Because these ones are a bit harder to catch, so it's completely fine to catch on your chest. Here we go, putting it all together. Lovely. Nice. Try and point your toes towards your target, Coach Danny, as you follow through. That might help the ball travel exactly where you want. Lovely. Nice. Rugby is all about running with the ball and scoring tries. This is a little drill to work out what to do when you're running with the ball. When you're running, you want to run with the ball in two hands if possible. That way you can pass any direction at any time. But when you go to a defender, you want to tuck the ball away from the defender and get ready to push them. We've got a little zigzag drill set up here to practice running and what to do when you get to a defender. As you get better with this drill, you can make it a time trial or a relay and have some fun with it. This is what it looks like. Ball in two hands and tuck. Ball in two hands, tuck. Ball in two hands, transfer. Ball in two hands, transfer like that. This is what it looks like a little bit faster. So thanks for joining me, Coach Ed. There were some awesome tips you showed us today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. Get out there as a class, practice those skills. And if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of different sports-specific skills, games and drills. And I've also got some downloadable resources that you can have for your school. So you have everything you need to teach game-changing sport.